Well, hello, 3E, and we are back to talk about hourly wages. Our goal today, I know how to calculate pay that is based on an hourly rate, an hourly rate. Let me just get a pen up here. Including situations that involve overtime. Okay, Most situations involve hourly rate. That's the most... Um, people are familiar with is the hourly rate of pay. You receive a set amount of pay for each hour you attend your job. So a lot of jobs, specifically things like part-time jobs and things that you may have had, you are paid by the hour. So most people are most familiar with being paid by the hour. Now in Ontario, the Employment Standards Act requires that an employer must pay more money if an employee works more than 44 hours in a week. And hours over 44 are paid at 1.5 times the rate. So you get um, another half more of your hourly rate. So let's, what does that actually mean in terms of how much you're being paid? So it means that if you're paid $12 per hour normally, your overtime rate is 12 times 1.5. And if we plug 12 times 1.5 into the calculator, you can see that's $18 an hour. So that's a significant um, pay raise. $18 per hour. It's a significant pay raise. Um, <clears throat> when you're working overtime. So let's have a look here. So let's try a couple of examples. Example one, Nick has a job working at the Home Depot. His hourly rate of pay is $12.50 an hour. In a normal week, Nick works five days a week, seven hours a day. Calculate his regular weekly pay. So we need to know how long he works. So length of time Uh, he works five days a week times seven hours a day. So he works 35 hours in a regular week. So that means that for his, whoops, let's get rid of that. His pay will be 35 hours at $12.50 per hour. So we just multiply those two things together. And we do 35 times $12.50. $437.50. So let's see what that means. How much is Nick making over the entire year working at Home Depot? Uh, 35 hours a week. So we'll get yearly equals uh, 437.50 times, now this is a week, remember there's 52 weeks in a year, so times 52. So this is per week and this is weeks in a year. Just so you know where we got those, those from. So let's figure that one out. 437.50 times 52 weeks a year. 22,750. 22,750 is his yearly pay, which isn't great. Working at Home Depot for only $12.50 an hour is definitely not going to make you rich. Okay. <clears throat> Let's look at a different example, one that maybe involves overtime. The f oh, I took away the, ooh, let's just get rid of that. Sorry about that. I did have a chart there. I don't anymore. Okay, suppose Carissa got a job working as a bookkeeper earning sixteen fifty an hour. She would normally work for 40 hours a week. What would her weekly pay be? So this one's pretty 
pretty straightforward because whenever we want to calculate pay, we just need to know how long she's working and what she gets paid per hour. Now this is a pretty good, pretty good wage. <clears throat> so pay equals rate times hours, which is 1650 times 40. So again, let's find our calculator here. 1650 times 40 hours equals $660 for the week. What would Carissa's overtime be? And overtime rate be? So we just want the rate. Now, what did I tell you before that it was? Let's take a look, quick look back here. It said that you are paid 1.5 times the rate, so we have to take what you're normally paid down here and multiply it by 1.5. So we're going to do that too. Um, let's pull over the formula. Overtime rate is 1.5 times the regular rate, so we need to do 1.5 times her regular rate is 1650. 1650. So, 1650 times 1 1.5 is 2475. 2475 per hour for anything she works over 44 hours, according to, according to Employment Canada. One very busy week, Carissa worked 50 hours. How much money would she receive? Now, here, just telling you again, Note, if you work more than 44 hours, you are paid regular rate for 44 hours and then overtime for the rest. So her regular pay is for 44 hours times her regular rate, which was 1650. Her overtime pay, well, what's left over? After 44 hours to get to 50, what do we have? If you have to, grab your calculator and say, well, 50 minus 44 is 6. Uh, hopefully you can do that in your head, but if you can't, grab your calculator and use the subtraction key. So we are going to do um, 6 hours at her overtime rate, which we figured out up here was 24.75. Now this came from doing 50 minus 44. That's where we got that little number 6. 50 hours that she worked minus the 44 hours that were at regular pay gives us how many hours she's paid overtime for. <clears throat> so now we want her total pay. Well, let's actually figure these ones out. 44 times 1650 is 726 and for her overtime pay is six dollars times 24 75 is 148 dollars and 50 cents overtime pay so now we want to put the two together to get what her total is and her total is going to be her regular wage seven hundred and twenty six dollars plus a hundred and forty eight fifty in overtime pay and that is going to be oh and look and I still have that hundred and forty eight fifty on my calculator I never delete stuff on my calculator because now I can just say plus 726 and I don't have to type too much in so 874.50 is what she makes when she works six hours overtime. Last one. Chris gets a job at a construction site. According to his contract, he gets time and a half if he works more than 36 hours. So he's got an even better job than what the Canadian law allows because he only works 36 hours and if he works more than that he gets time and a half. If his regular wage is 1675, 
how much does he earn in a week where he works 47 hours? So I haven't given you the breakdown on here, but you have to do it exactly the same way. What is his overtime wage? So overtime wage is 16.75 times time and a half. Time and a half is that magic 1.5 that we've been talking about. So we need to do 16.75 times 1.5 is 25.125, which rounds to $25.13. $25.13 is what he makes per hour, anything above 36 hours. So if his regular wage is 16.75, how much does he earn in a week where he works 47 hours? So we need to calculate his regular pay. And his overtime pay. And put them together. So his regular pay is going to be 2313. Oh, no, it's not. Hope you weren't copying that. His regular pay is going to be $16.75. That's what he makes in a regular hour. Uh, times the 36 hours that he works at regular rate. So $16.75 times 36 hours at regular pay is $6.03. His overtime pay is, uh, well, how many hours of overtime have we got? 36 hours at regular pay, 47 hours total. I think the difference between these two is 11. And again, if you're at all worried about that, pull up your calculator and go 47 minus 36 and see that it is actually 11. So 11 hours at overtime times the overtime rate which is 2313 and this came from doing 47 minus 36 is 11 times 2313 $254.43 $254.43 $254 .43. giving us a grand total of 603 plus 254.43. That is $857.43 when he works overtime um, by 11 hours. And that's quite a bit of overtime. Um, most jobs don't have that much overtime only because a lot of jobs make you work the 44 hours at regular pay first, but some jobs might give you a bit of a break and have you work only um, 36 before you get overtime, especially since a construction job uh, is more manual labor, so they might give you um, a little bit of a break in that respect because they don't want to overwork you. Okay, And that is the end of this lesson.